Hello, good afternoon to you. How are you, Joe? How what's are you? The, what's the name there? It's Claire Kierans. You have a horrific story that you wanted to send <laughs> in the library. Oh, it's terrible, terrible, Joe, terrible. So terrible, this, this terrible. story was about a job in your factory. It was. Getting yeah. ready for your job. Yeah. Go on, tell us. Well, I forgot to put my skirt on going to work. Oh. <laughs> so hold on, roll back the years there. Roll back years till you. The skirt, you forgot to put the skirt on. I forgot to put it on, Joe. So you got the bra, you got the bra on. Did. You got the jacket on. Did. You got the shoes on. Yeah. You forgot to put on the skirt. I forgot to put on my skirt, And how far into work did you get? Well, I took my coat off. And, uh, in work? In work. <laughs> and my colleague said, so did you get I think you forgot something. Was that the policeman and taking you in for a decent discussion? <laughs> what happened then? Well, um, I had to put my coat back on, I suppose. <laughs> And what did you do then? I went home. <laughs> good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon to you. What's the name? Good afternoon. What's the name? Your name is Good Afternoon. <laughs> These live like people are so depressed they're calling themselves Good Afternoon. <laughs> now listen, there you were. There you went to a concert. I went to a How concert. How long ago was the concert? Oh gosh, it was... We don't concert. want to know your age. No, we don't. It was about 17 years. What was the concert? Alvin Stardust. Alvin Stardust. Are you a fan of Alvin Stardust? Yeah, I was. You were. So, Annie, what were you wearing? A red dress. You were wearing a red dress. And what did Alvin Stardust start singing? Who's that dancing in the red dress? And what did you do? Oh, I started screaming, it's me, it's me. So, Alvin Stardust is singing, who's that dancing in the red dress? And you scream, it's me, it's me. Yeah, it's me. Practically on the stage, it was like a, you know, a catwalk. I know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I can feel your pain, I can feel your pain. <laughs> so he, you're, you're shouting, it's me, it's me, and what did Alvin Stardust do? He took off his glove and he gave me, put a finger up. <laughs> Alvin Stardust gave you the finger. <laughs> There was a great atmosphere there, there was jealousy, there was exhilaration. Except during your part, there was a very depressing few moments during your part last night. My part was yeah. the ultimate in depression. And I have to say, last all the audiences in Dublin, the most depressed out of all of them. Really? <laughs> is there a reason for that? Are you encouraging them to, to be depressed? I think Dublin is devastating. Yay! Devastation is sweeping across Dublin. Now. And you're not going to get much more true than uh, Mr. Bill Cullen, entrepreneur. Oh, there's normally two. 
Yeah, that was your... Hey, there's no army to him. <laughs> All you guys are looking at that. It's the first thing I saw when I walked in the door. They're knocking them down, and one is already gone, and we didn't know. You didn't even know. Well, it's that joke, don't you? That's joke. That joke against them. No, you, you, you see, you have to keep your eyes open everywhere you go. Well, how do you know, Bill, that wherever we are, there could be one right in the hell? There isn't. Uh, and uh, the other thing is, when you were on the front line recently, yeah. you were telling everybody to get up off their arses and get moving. Uh, do you regret saying that or are you happy with no, the No, sure, isn't it the truth? We've got to go and make things happen. You can't be sitting around. There was one guy there that night, a young lad, and he said, poor old me, I want to get 220 euro on the dollar to live, and how can I live on that? And I said, you're home to my He said, yeah. And I said, what do you do with the 220 euro? Well, I have to take out the girlfriend and buy petrol for the car. And he can't, he can't get a job, you know. Hello. Yeah. I showed him the picture of us back in 1945. Oh, right, we're going to go. <laughs> there was about three or four hundred of us kids dancing in O'Connell Street and none of us had shoes. Yeah. So that's, if you want and to think about tough times. I think in the photograph you, know, you, have a, you have a potato in your hands to keep you warm, haven't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're with us here, Bertie. Uh, how are you getting on? Do you like being here? I mean, what do you mean? Do I like being here? What, do you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love being here. <laughs> uh, I think that the, the Diggy Rock was, was just incredible. Yeah. Uh, I would support people who, who want to name a place after. I mean, after all, we have, we have Black Rock, we have Fox Rock. Uh, why, why not have Diggy Rock? Bertie and Hearn Boulevard are, are just called the town Bertie. <laughs> Yeah, you after some of your mates, uh, some of your old buddies. No, just call the whole place Bertie. Who would be your favourite friend now? Oh, I suppose Des the Flick Richardson. Yeah, Howard the Bouncer. What was the other guy's name? You know, the, 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 the trade <laughs> <laughs> oh, my favourite, my favourite, my favourite out of all of them, of course, was. Will you pay? Yeah. <laughs> my favourite out of all of them was. The Dicky virus is still in me, so that's the only thing to be able to see. Oh wait, Jesus, he's more like a stand-up comedian than a Dicky. Listen, we've actually run out of time, so I'm not going to have the whole song. We'll just do one chorus. Here we go. Here we go. We've got a note there. Give us the note. If you have that sinking feeling, world's falling in on top of your ceiling. Thank you, Dublin. Yeah. Thanks for coming along. And a man that you should know. Here we go now, everybody. We call him Tiny Lasser. Nobody does it faster than Tiny Lasser. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> Second verse as well. Wear and tear you can't control. Paddy would come and fix your hole. <laughs> Small is the move. He'd take what's rough and he'd make it smooth. He called him Paddy.